The death row inmate whose innocence led to a moratorium on the death penalty in Illinois has died. Back in 1983, Anthony Porter was wrongly convicted in the murders of two teenagers. Natalie Bopke joins us now with more on his life and how his story has saved others from being wrongfully executed. Natalie. Don and Anthony. Anthony Porter was just 50 hours away from death. He had chosen his last meal when an appeal delayed his execution. During the delay, a group of Northwestern students investigated his case and were able to set his freedom in motion. Freedom captured on video before DNA evidence. The Anthony Porter case was one of the cases that drew a nationwide attention to Illinois and the problem of wrongful convictions here. After serving 17 years on death row, Anthony Porter was exonerated in 1999 for the murder of two teenagers on the south side of Chicago. Fox 32 legal analyst Larry Yellen covered the case. It didn't happen because of DNA, which frequently turns the tide in cases uh, these days. It happened because a witness recanted, another man apparently confessed to the crime, and shortly after that, George Ryan uh, decided that there should be, a Governor George Ryan decided there should be a moratorium on all executions, the ending of all death rows. Uh, executions in Illinois. At the time of the murders, Porter was 27 years old and identified by several witnesses as being in the area at the time of the crime. A group of students at Northwestern got a key witness to recant his testimony and obtained a confession from another man. Their investigation called the Innocence Project sparked others like it across the country. Wrongful convictions are not in fact a rarity. They frequently happen and it's a major problem that has to be dealt with. Anthony Porter's case certainly was one of those. Porter died this week in Chicago at the age of 66. The Cook County Medical Examiner's report indicates he likely died of an opioid overdose. And the man who confessed to the murders later recanted his confession. After serving 15 years, the charges were vacated. The double murder remains unsolved. Don?